A link today has got a rare opportunity to connect with my native culture. It is going to be epic for you guys to be able to see what you're going to be seeing. So enjoy and welcome. My name is Aaron Bell. I'm from the Anishinaabe people, uh, Chippewa of Nawash Band. Uh, when I was first born, I was uh, adopted into a non-native family. I didn't learn about my First Nations culture until after I left college, so that's when my journey began. I worked in every First Nations place that I possibly could. I took every kind of workshop I possibly could, whether it be listening to the elders, language, whether it be storytelling, acting, script writing, set design, anything I could do to keep myself out of the factories. <laughs> So anything I could do in, work, in regards to the arts, as well as learning First Nations culture. So that was about 15 years ago. Now I run two businesses, dealing with First Nations culture and bringing them out to the world. Our motto is to create more understanding today, so that there's less misunderstanding for all of our children in the future. There are 500 separate First Nations cultures in North and South America. Each one of them have their own dances that they don't share with the public. So the dances that we do share are ones that we're allowed to share according to our, our different nations. So it was all about gift giving today and sharing with one another today.
Uh, my take on uh, spirituality is uh, fairly open, I believe. A lot of times we get questions like, what, what, are you religious or, or what religion are you? And our answer is always, I, I'm not religious, I'm, I'm spiritual. So to me, religion is a path to spirituality. As being a First Nations person, everything around us has their own spirits. So one of the reasons why our people dance is they dance for those who can't dance for themselves. So those are for the ones who are hurt or wounded, our elders, or for those who have been here in the past and are our ancestors. So even though our ancestors are no longer here with us in a physical form, they're with us in a spiritual form. And that's why they come and join us when we're dancing or performing our ceremonies. So I'm very open to any kind of spiritual aspect. When she is performing woman's traditional, she holds the shawl over her shoulders and sways in time with the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Those long flowing fringes on the bottom of her shawl dust the wounds upon Mother Earth in order to hear her. When she is performing woman's fancy, she holds the shawl over her arms and the shawl becomes the emerging wings of a butterfly from its cocoon. Kim is going to share with you the story of a crow dancing upon the field of battle. This next dance honors the crow. This is Crow Hop. Sinanene uh, is my name, or Daniel Secord. I'm from the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nation. Um, the traditional area, uh, Mississauga of New Credit, is near the Grand River, and that's called Pashinigani, the name of the land there, and the name of the river. Um, I'm of the Bear Clan, or Dodem, and I'm Anishinaabe, or Mississauga Nation. Uh, this is my daughter, Zalmakwa. Get her to introduce herself. Ani, I am Ozawa Moka Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and um, she's a part of the dance today. Um, she's been dancing as soon as she could walk. Uh, she's been going to um, ceremonies and socials and gatherings. I like to dance because it makes me feel free, and I don't, and I don't. That gives me a time that I don't have to listen when what a certain way people have to judge me by, and I, it makes me feel like I like I'm the only one there, even if I know it. But it makes me feel happy and. So now whenever my son has a bad dream, he still comes into my room, but he doesn't say, Daddy, Daddy, I had a bad dream. Now he says, Daddy, Daddy, can you please go get your flute? So I say, okay. And I get up, we go into his room, we tuck him back in, lay him in bed, give him his thunder bear, and I sit beside him on the bed, and we play his bad dream song. <laughs> 